When Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969, it was the uh, culmination of a lot of people's dreams. For me, it was another step that we were taking. move from a dreamer to an achiever, one has to be a believer. One has to believe in oneself and have a sense of self-worth and also a sense of where we are. Dr. Roberta Bondar, scientist, medical doctor, pilot, astronaut, photographer, visionary, and passionate earthling. Dr. Bondar, Space travel has taught me that change is inevitable, change is constant, and change is something that we have to understand is a very positive force. And to become everything you can possibly be, you need growth, change, and challenge. And you do that by having the right perspective. I like to think about change as a challenge, is the thing that defines our strengths. And corporations, by being flexible and being able to cope with change become stronger. They may be able to fit into places that they never would have imagined if they had not been challenged by change. That space flight is not the pinnacle. It's just part of my ongoing training, my ongoing change, my ongoing perspective, my ongoing value. Very few people are visionary enough to realize that life will go on beyond our lives. Businesses are bigger than today and we have to have a corporate ethic beyond our own lives. It's very important in any venture to know when to lead and when to follow. It's also very important to have a shared vision so that it can help you achieve. You have to be able to have commitment to that vision and you have to be able to have people around you who share that same vision. We are pilots as I mentioned and one of the neat things we get to do before our space flight is actually fly together in these high performance jets which are like little sports cars and the thing that they teach us are really things like trust and teamwork this is a shot of me in the cockpit of the T-38 when I went through the speed of sound the first time I used to say, send my mom photographs because I'm the little kid in the family and she'd say you know please don't send me any more I'd rather talk to you on the telephone dear I uh, you know <laughs> Shooting landscapes on Earth are the closest things that I can come to, to seeing the Earth from space and the broad horizons. It is not just trying to develop a sense of the expanse of the land on Earth, but rather showing the edge to it, because there definitely is an edge to the end of the planet. One thing that I find in the landscapes besides beauty is the continuum of change and the pace of change. It is at different levels. We have everything from rainforests to deserts. We have lakes, we have rivers. Water is the most important feature in the landscape for me. And it's either the water or the lack of it that fascinates me. What better choice to speak about teamwork than an astronaut? Who better to talk about overcoming obstacles and achieving our dreams? Who better to discuss what happens after you've reached the pinnacle of success? Who better to talk about perspective than someone who's seen the Earth without horizons? Who better to choose for your next speaking engagement than Dr. Roberta Bondar?